Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly Clark, and welcome to this nail tutorial. So I've been playing a lot of piano recently, and I have super short nails. And not like short, like when people are like, I have short nails, and it means that they're like, you know, fully squared off, off of the fingertip type deal uh no these are like short like short enough so that my the pads of my fingers are actually like fully exposed i uh, am a very aggressive piano player i guess um i don't know how gaga does it with her tips on but i play hard and i need my fingers to be touching the keys so i was like i got it i want to do this i want to do a mani but i want it to be something that would look good on really short nails. I feel like a lot of nail art can sometimes make your nail beds look even smaller than they are and shorter. And I wanted to just try something that would kind of help elongate your nails if they're very short. So what I did was this like very, very basic copper mauve, kind of like a reverse French with a half moon situation on the bottom by the nail bed and by the finger. And I really like it. I just chipped this one. Damn it! Damn it! I use this kind of creamy mauve nail shade as a base. And then I use a metallic, two different metallic tones for the little nail art situation. And I found that because I used a metallic paint, it didn't have to be super precise. Like these are kind of not, that's not the most precise, you know, little point. But because it's metallic, you kind of can't tell it. Like creates a little bit more distraction, reflection, and you know. Anyway, so I'm always into nail art that is easier than it looks and, you know, helps kind of hide your lack of artistic genius, uh, artistics. Uh, skill. So this is a really easy one and I hope you will enjoy watching it and hope you'll try it out. And uh, let me know if you try it out. Tag me on Instagram. I'm Kimberly Clark Official and I would love to see your version of this mauve copper metallic half moon Manny. So if you want to see how to get this look, please stay tuned for this tutorial. Starting off with two coats of this mauve nail polish by OPI called Tickle My Francy. Ugh, what a stupid name. Anyway, it's a beautiful cream mauve. For the metallic shades, I'm going to be using this Mineral Fusion Polish in Pretty Penny and this OPI Liquid Sand Polish in Honey Rider. This is that textured liquid sand. I'm just using my little aluminum tray that I use as a palette and this little detail brush. I've also got my acetone and my Dayton, Ohio shot glass. I do like to dip my detail brush in the acetone and clean it off when it gets too gunky. I'm just taking a couple drops of that copper polish and putting it on my little palette. And then with that detail brush, I'm just drawing some very basic, very rough half moon arches at the base of all but one of my nails on each hand. Now, as you can see, I start doing the kind of top of the curve and then I fill in the base. I find this gives the kind of best, smoothest, most opaque coverage. It's kind of like putting like a little blob of polish and then spreading it out to kind of smooth over the top, if that makes sense, versus just kind of brushing on and building up opacity. You kind of have to treat this almost like, you know, cake frosting or something. You're just plopping it on top and then smoothing it out. And it should go without saying, but you want to make sure that your base color is completely dry before you go ahead with this next step. Now, some people may even say put on a glossy top coat before you add nail art like this. I don't, but you know, it never hurts. So that is my very rough metallic half moons. Then I'm taking this OPI polish and I'm using that same detail brush and creating these kind of dramatic points for my accent nail. Now this is a textured like rough liquid sand polish. So if I wanted to, I could not top coat this and have it be like a different texture than the cream underneath. 
but I'm actually going to smooth out and top all of these nails with my top coat. But the texture in this just makes it an even kind of more dimensional sparkle, which I think looks really nice. For top coat, I'm using my Essie Gel Setter No Lamp Gel Top Coat. Boom. And that is the finished look. Really, really easy, really basic. Again, that metallic kind of refraction of the light allows you to kind of be a little sloppier with the nail polish placement. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the permission. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more nail tutorials or, or different kinds of nail tutorials, please let me know down below what kind of stuff you want to see me do. I'm really happy with this. I think it looks great, and I'm excited to wear it through Thanksgiving because that's when I film this. I have no idea when I'm posting this, but that might have been months ago. So not only am I a, an illusionist of the visage, but I am also an illusionist of time. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye.